go. So now I'm supposed to talk about the shoot with uh, Cynthia, a girl from Belgium who's uh, an athlete. And uh, we met her some time ago when Stephanie was doing an interview with her during a sort of press conference with her at, at one of her sponsors. And we took a few snapshots back then. Um, and she's a very interesting girl, very pretty and also yeah, she has like a very nice, I don't know, in, in Dutch it's outstrahling. It's, uh, you know, the, 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 the aura somebody has, it's very positive, very, very, um, I don't know, very optimistic. And then afterwards we thought, oh, maybe we can make a, a longer shoot with her where we have a bit more time for um, the portraits. And uh, now that she's going to Rio very soon, we tried and were successful to make an appointment with her and to actually go to her training and then um, shoot during, after, between her training. Um, it was a very nice location. It was an outdoor track uh, somewhere south of Brussels. And part of her training or her war warm-up routine was also in a fitness studio, in a, in a gym. So we had like indoor outdoor locations. And uh, the locations were very nice and it's interesting because you never normally never shoot in, in these kind of places. So that I always find it very inspiring if I'm in new places. Um, on top of that, and I'm still learning a lot in these kind of things, when you're, when you're shooting with a model, you're, you're there for her, she's there for you, and you have your whole time dedicated on shooting. If you're shooting like with Cynthia during the training, it's like a bit, you know, when shall I go in between and take a portrait? And, and I'm sort of a bit like a, 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 a careful person, so I'm not like just jumping in there and say, okay, I want to take a picture here now. I'm like uh, probably a bit too back backwards and uh, so that's one thing that I'm still learning to find the right uh, balance between st standing back not being an annoyance because you know I, I, my principle is you know people have to be happy they have to they have to be com comfortable when, when taking pictures so not to overstep but also to get the pictures I want to get and I think that's the, one of these challenges uh, if you take portraits of somebody that uh, you you find that balance. At the beginning I think I was a bit too careful but with the time um, when I saw something then um, I just jumped in and, and took uh, the portrait. Another thing that's, that's a bit a challenge if you're more used to shooting with models is posing. Um, basically because first of all I don't want to pose. I want to get natural scenes, natural looks but many people, and me included, is feel awkward in front of a camera. So it's it's you have to normally direct a little bit to to get something that looks um, acceptable, looks kind of natural, doesn't look awkward. And uh, that's also something where I'm still trying to find the balance between being having the person try to be get the person into something where she's or he is as much as possible herself but at the same time do like some very soft directing and trying to get something that looks natural and, and not awkward in, in front of the camera so that's something that I'm still experimenting and it again it's again the character you're photographing if somebody is very strong and very self-confident um, that is different than if you have somebody who is more careful and maybe um, maybe a bit more shy in front of the camera. So the same that I, that I felt with shooting models that you have to adapt to the kind of personality um, is the same with taking portraits of, of everyday um, people. But I find it more challenging probably just because I'm, I, got, I'm, I have so much experience shooting with models that there's hardly any surprise anymore. But uh, like the examples I mentioned already that shooting portraits of normal people, that there are challenges that I haven't really come across yet. And uh, I'm finding my way through. With every shoot we do, I'm, I'm getting more confident and uh, finding new angles of, of doing things. What I've figured out which helps is the large format camera. 
Now with Cynthia we were shooting with the 6x7 because I was not sure how much time I would have, if I could really pull her out for two, three minutes to take a picture here and there with a large format camera. So that's why I took the 6x7 so I could work more quickly. But I noticed with the other people, the other portraits I took, is that the large format camera sort of seems to relax people. I don't know, it's not such a, it's, they, they don't seem to have the same reaction than being photographed with the, the classical camera where you look through and you trick the button and, and then you find a different angle and shoot again. That's, the large format camera seems to, I don't know, sort of relax people or they, they, they're not, because you're not behind the camera when taking the picture, you're next to the camera, you, it's sort of more a, a, a thoughtful process and it's not like that there's just one second where you take the picture, the picture's taken like over a minute or two and it's uh, it, it gives you more time also the subject more time to to settle down into into the picture and into the mood so it doesn't always work but I found that the large format camera the 4x5 and the 8x10 um, tend to be very um, useful for portraits just to get that bit more settled down um, mood and, and expression than you would get with a fast and quick camera. So yes, but I haven't seen the pictures yet. Um, they're still at uh, Camoncitas in Spain um, and I hope to get them back in a few days and I'm really looking forward to them. That's a bit what hurts because when I shoot 4x5 color I go to a local lab here in Brussels, I get them back and I and I scan them, so I normally have the the, ex the results like after a day or two. If you send the, the medium format film away, then you know you wait a week or so, so more time goes by. And that makes you a bit more, um, uh, yeah, anxious about or not nervous, but uh, you're, looking, you're really looking forward to, you know, did you get what you actually wanted to get? But uh, yeah, with. With 4x5, I'm scanning color, I'm quite confident, I get exactly what I want. With medium format, I better leave it to the pros and they normally get nicer results than I could get um, scanning them myself. So yes, um, it was a great shoot. Uh, you will see in the video, or you saw already in the video, Cynthia is a, is a very positive young lady and it was a pleasure taking pictures of her. And uh, I hope he has lots of luck in Rio, she deserves it.